The definition of insanity is insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again, expecting shit to change. That is crazy. Hello, I am Sanji Himura. I'm joined today by Mellow Online One. Hi there, everybody. Hope you're doing all right. Today, we're going to uh, talk about the culling on a special W2 Report Extra. So, stay tuned, buckle up, and enjoy the show. Today, we're going to talk the culling and its bizarre monetization scheme, which I have in front of me right now. So, uh, Melo, do you have any thoughts opening it up? Do you have any opening thoughts uh, in discussing this today? It, it's shit. End of the story. Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe and goodbye. <laughs> well, we're going to get into the monetization scheme up close and personal today. So today, the well, the culling has been released on Xbox One <coughs> coming soon to PC. So with that said... We have a nine, uh, five ninety nine upfront cost. Oh joy, does it smell suspicious enough already? Just to give context, the game launched. Uh, when did it launch? 2016, 2017 ish into early access. It costed first. I don't remember like the RRP off the top of my head. I think it was at about seven bucks. Right. Um. Then it failed. Basically, they launched the Culling Two. Um. That failed. It was like overdosed with negative reviews. It was one, some have called it one of the worst games ever made. <laughs> um. And then to regain some of the reputation back, what they did was they went back to the original Culling, and then they were like, because basically they made a bunch of the game, people loved the Culling at first, but then a bunch of updates came to the game, and it basically deteriorated the quality. So they were just all like, okay, we're going to revert a few updates back from the culling to back to when everyone liked it. Um, we're going to make the culling free. It was free to play. And then we're going to get their money off the microtransactions in the game where it was like you buy crates with like equipment, gear, weapons, whatever you want. And it worked for a while up until the point I think they lasted maybe about eight months with that model. And then they shut it down again. And now they've obviously wanted to bring it back with this. Yes, with this, and we have, for the privilege of paying five ninety nine, upfront costs, you get precisely one game a day. Unless and... you're good at the game and you win, and then you get one extra game free, and then if you lose that, you have to pay to get more matches. And how much does this match tokens cost? You 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 get three matches for ninety nine cents. Ten matches for two ninety nine, and twenty matches for four ninety nine. That boils down to about thirty cents a game. And then if you my math the is right. Pass, and then you have the online passes. Yes, then there's also a subscription model which allows you to play unlimited matches for a week or by the month. Weekly is a dollar ninety nine and monthly is five ninety nine. And they think people are gonna be buying this. No. Hell no. no. <laughs> uh so Mello you have well, I know you wrote an article on the culling and its bullshit. Uh, what do you think? Thank you. That's, that's the usual quality of my articles. <laughs> uh, so what do you what do you what do you guys think? What do you think of uh this subscription model up 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 close and personal? Like, here's the deal with me. People that have talked with me will know that I'm not necessarily a fan of subscription services overall. Mm -hmm. So, like, I never got into games like World of Warcraft or anything like that. I hate the idea of never owning my game. 
Right. I hate the idea of having to pay monthly installments. So I've never touched World of Warcraft for that explicit reason. I Elder Scrolls Online is another good example. It launched with a monthly subscription fee. And I was like, oh, why? Because I wanted to try that. So I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to get it because I don't like the monthly subscription model. I hate continuously making payments into a game for no reason. But then when it went, when it um, cancelled that monthly subscription fee and it just had, a, I think it had a slightly higher upfront cost. I was like, fuck yeah, yeah, I'll get that. I don't need to worry about monthly payments. And I've enjoyed it ever since. With this, this is just, I said it in my article, it's representative of a company that in my opinion is facing a near bankruptcy state. Because Xaviant, I think it's clear ever since they launched the Culling 2 that they haven't been on good financial terms. Actually, I think I was speaking with Ratchet about this um, a couple of days ago. Right. When the Culling launched, it was like one of the good eggs of early access. People liked the game. It was one of the, one of, I'm not going to say the, because it'll just be a controversial statement. Then, then there's going to be people saying, actually, there was a mod released in 2004 that had this, this, and this. It was one of the original Battle Royale games, and it had a unique identity to it. It wasn't like PUBG versus H1Z1 or anything like that. It was distinctive because it was a first-person game with survival elements in it where you set traps and there was only 16 players Blah, blah, blah. It had a unique identity in comparison to a lot of the other Battle Royale games. Well, I mean, there wasn't any Battle Royale games besides Z1, or that's its current name right now, was H1Z1. Right. But, like, ever since the development of that proceeded, they dwindled in player count because they made some very poor decisions with the game's development. It was going in a direction that alienated the player base that had stuck with the game. And then, obviously, more popular and over more polished Battle Royale games came out. I mean, I'm, I'm not a fan of it, but PUBG came out. That got a huge ton of popularity. Fortnite, Fortnite came out, which was free. Yeah, that was free up front, so you didn't have to pay anything. So, like, there was just a lot more better competition that was coming out, and the culling just dwindled in players, dwindled in sales, and just fizzled out. Then Xavier must have been drying up in the cash, and then they released the culling too. Basically, because that kind, the kind of game that the Culling Two was, Ratchet will tell you the same, is incredibly cheap to make. It was just a huge map, empty of bit, bit basically empty of content, mm -hmm. and you just had a huge empty map with guns and equipment loitered around it, and you just have players playing in it. It was incredible. It was a cheap model to make, so the game was made on the cheap. Much if you compare the two games, they are basically two different games: the Culling and the Culling Two, because the Culling probably had a lot of more money put behind it and had a lot more time and development. The Culling Two was just rushed out to be a PUBG clone. Right, exactly. So, in my eyes, the Culling Two was only released for the same reason that they put this new subscription service in. It was only released to generate more money. For, in my opinion. I don't know if it's confirmed or anything, but everything that I'm looking at is pushing me towards this. The company is in a dwindling position and is dying out and is going to be, quote me on this, six to 12 months time, I think the company is going to be bankrupt. They are good, if not sooner, but six to 12 months, I think they are going to be down the shit and they are not going to exist. It's not going to be a good day because like a bunch of, a bunch of people are going to be out of jobs. And but... that's not good. I hope those guys do find more work, but... But I don't it's like I don't it's like mismanagement at the top caused it caused it to do oh. this. Exactly, these guys, the developers behind Xavier, aren't to blame. It is just to do with the management. The management have been making all of these bad decisions. There's been this awful, like just do this, do that, and then just pushing the culling off of a good course to be a success, and driving it just off, and it just failed. It fell flat on its face. And it didn't live up to its potential. So the Culling 2 fails. And they're like, oh damn. The game gets a mini reputation online. Because like I said, it's some people have called it one of the worst video games ever made. They decide, okay, we've got well one of the lowest rated games on Steam right now. I think it got like 17% or something like that on Steam. Which is uh -huh. one of like the top 10 worst on Steam as well. So like, okay, Which is why I made the argument that it... If it comes back to Steam, if it comes back to PC, it will not be on Steam. Well, that's that's, that's exactly why I made that argument. 
Well, here's the deal. The game, the store page for The Culling 2 is still up. It still has that rating. You just can't buy it or, or anything like that. Right. But in my eyes, they made as much money as they could have off of The Culling 2 because, like, the game was a failure. Like, I think Jim Sterling reported that the most amount of people playing the game at one given time was 12. Ouch! Out of a map that was made for 100 players, which is a huge kick in the fucking nuts to Xavier. So they left they left the game up because they knew it was low quality. I don't think anyone at Xavier looked at it and be like, yeah, yeah, this is deserving to be a sequel to The Culling. Oh, and I also want to mention, they abandoned The Culling before doing this, so The Culling wasn't even technically a finished product after, before they released The Culling too. They just wanted, okay, we need a new release because they weren't getting any more players into The Culling. We need a new release. We need to leech off of what success we achieved with the culling because that's failed. And we need to bring in a completely new game with another upfront fee. And we need to just get as many people on this. We need to make as much money as we can off of this. Because, like, anyone will tell you the first two weeks of a game's launch is going to be when they get the more sales. I don't know how quickly the culling two got pulled. I think it was within a week of launch. Right. And it got pulled ish i'm paraphrasing because i don't it was pulled very quickly exactly after it was released. so they got as much sales as they were going to make which wasn't many they saw automatically oh this even though this is done on the cheap this was a flop as well we barely made anything off of it and then they made this whole stunt to be honest now that i'm talking about it, it i wouldn't be surprised if this was all planned from the beginning really they made a cheap game on the top on the idea that they could use it to propel more success to the culling and then failed on that regard, they made that whole YouTube video and they were like, oh, guys, we are so sorry for putting you out through with the culling too. We're so sorry that it was such the quality that it was. We didn't realize how bad it was until we saw the people that were angry at the game. And for that reason, we have come up with this brand new plan to revitalize the culling that we've just come up with in a week. Yep, definitely just came up with it in a week and definitely didn't spend a few months we're making on the culling too to do this. Then they released the culling, made it free to play, put the microtransactions in. That didn't work out either. And then just circling back when they shut the culling down for the second time, and they try and rebirth it with this this monthly subscription service. It just shows a company in dire need of cash. They're running low, and they're on the verge of going down bankrupt. Under. Yeah, bankrupt. exactly. And what's even, what's, the dev diary aside, what, what's amazing about the de dev diary is that Josh Van Weld, you'll see, you'll see him on the screen right now, is saying his stuff with a, with a straight face. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's just, that's because what's his position at Xavier again? I've forgotten. Is it like the director of operations? It? Director of operations. I was thinking the mop, the dop. What is it? Yeah. Director of operations. All of them are like that. They have, like, I hate to launch any person tax on them, but it's like they have no soul. They exactly. have no investment they, they, in the they, game. They're just in business. They, they, they lost their soul a long time ago. And mm -hmm. I know, I know that, I know we're saying a lot about that, but with that statement but it's true look it, yeah exactly exactly it's a, it's exactly true because Josh Van Weld is saying this dev diary with a straight face like he believes what he's trying to sell yeah he genuinely th because here's the thing a director of operations like I have no I'm not going to pass judgment on the guy off as an individual but typically a director of operations do, could not give a shit about the quality of the product. They are just all about, right, business, business, business. How can we get as much money into this company as possible? That's another reason why I think this is just going to get dire. That is a desperate financial move for them to pull if they want to implement a model like that into the culling. If I like, may make a comparison here, mm -hmm. I think Josh Van Weld learned his stuff from Sergey Titov. <laughs> oh yeah, clearly bum buddies. But the deal is it's not a, a consumer friendly move at all. That's no, been made no, to be clear. No. No. 
it is absolute. It absolutely should be made clear that what the calling is doing is absolutely absurd. Like if I was director of operations at Xavient, I would just tell them because like they've they've got another game on Steam. It's right. not related to the culling. It's their oldest title. Right. But like they've shown they can like it's got mixed reviews, but from the people that I've talked with that people think it is generally pretty good. It's called Lichdom Battle Mage. And they also released another game just um, back in December called Don't Die Minerva. They have dabbled or tried to dabble in like other work outside of the culling. Um, but the Dawn Diamond Nerva, from what I know, it made some money, but not a lot. Okay. Uh, so they what, probably just. What was the other game, outside of that 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 one you just mentioned? Um, Lichdom Battle Mage or Lichdom. I'm not sure how you really say it. But if I was DOP, I would say, ah, guys, is. we need to move away from the calling. That game has failed. It's failed twice already. It's going to fail a third time because I can't see this working. It's failed three times. We had a disaster with the Culling 2, which resulted in a PR nightmare. We've got, but they've got this as well, which is just a PR nightmare. But the Culling 2, it just labeled them as we've made one of the worst games of all time. That's not a good look for our company. No. I would say move past the Culling, get other games. Especially, don't especially, don't try a battle royale game. Yeah, don't try an or something that's already an oversaturated market. Battle royales are, well, not necessarily so much now, but for the time period, they were incredibly popular. They were all the range. There was clones everywhere. It had its own like Minecraft phase where you couldn't go anywhere without seeing a clone of it. Right. They need more. They need a broader portfolio. Exactly. And exactly. You don't. They've basically just taken. Um, what's those things that you pump a dead, bo- not a dead body with, but something that you. You beat a dead shot. horse. No, not that. It's oh, med- medical, medical use. Uh, a defibrillator. A defibrillator. Yeah. They've <laughs> used a defibrillator. They've used a defibrillator on the on Cullings corpse twice, and they've just like, I am back, and then just collapsed back dead again. Stop doing it if it's happened twice. It's <laughs> dead. Dead. Stop trying dead. to reset, resurrect dead. it. D E A D dead. But you were gonna go D E D, and I was just like, "You fucking idiot." <laughs> well, they're idiots because they do spell dead D E D. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I'd be surprised because the game, the Cullings relaunched just. I think it was the day I put my article up. So like. Two days ago, they just launched it on Xbox One with this model. Mm-hmm. And they're expecting they're they're expecting to make money off of it, and they're not. They're not going to be making money off of it. Because, like, here's the deal. They, in that dev diary that they launched, they were pointing towards, even though it's closed and it failed overall, they ignore that. They're just like, thanks to you guys that bought the microtransactions when the culling was free to play... We were able to make the culling last as long as it, and now we're bringing it back again, and it's going to last even longer. It's not. No. It's not. No. But, like, here's the thing. If it failed with the microtransactions and the game was free, that shows you that there wasn't enough interest, even when the game was free, to generate money. If the game has an upfront fee on top of the Xbox Live model subscription, and you have to pay for your matches, that's going to bring in less. That is going to bring in far less than what money they made on the microtransactions. The people that bought the microtransactions were probably the culling fans. And here's the thing, there wasn't enough fans to keep it popular. There wasn't enough fans to keep the servers up. Where are those fans going to be if there's, one, another price point where they have to pay for the game, two they're gonna have to pay to even play it like it's not even microtransactions where it's like an addition you have to pay repeatedly to play the game the culling isn't that great you're not gonna get paying i want to pay six dollars a month to play the culling when you could just go to fortnite PUBG, z1 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 is free to play on the playstation 4 xbox one and pc 
It is free. No catches or anything. If you think Fortnite's too childish for me, go to fucking Z1. Right. Or even or or do let's let's be completely honest here. Modern Warfare Warzone. Mm. That as well. Because it's more polished. It is more polished. It's even more polished than Fortnite, I dare say. Yeah. But like his thing, I played the culling back when it was made free to play. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fine. It's not something I want to pay six dollars a month for though. It was fine, but it wasn't anything oh wow, this is great. I was thinking yeah, it's okay. I wouldn't pay six bucks and then another six bucks, then another six bucks on it. Right, exactly. It's not worth it. It is. I mean, I mean, if it, if it, if it, <laughs> I mean, if it is a, if the upfront cost covered covered the first month of unlimited play, fine. Because Even technically, you can get away with model. calling it free. But. Even then, it's not a good model. No, it's not. Anyway, I'd so like I, to thank... Uh, one more yeah, thing. Yeah, one more ahead. thing I just want to throw in. I don't wish failure on a game at all, really. I don't think I have. This one, I hope it doesn't work out, though. Because right. if it does work, it's going to set a really negative precedent across the industry. Because then, if this... Not, I'm not. I don't want to call them indie, but they are basically an indie studio. If this indie studio finds success using a model like this, the companies like Electronic Arts, companies like Activision, they're going to be eyeing it up, and they're going to be like, "Hey, we can do something like this. We can make this work, and we've got a bigger audience than these guys. We can make more money than them." Right. So I don't want this to succeed. I think Croc, and he's not on the panel today, but. Uh, Croc weighed in on on the matter yesterday. He said he said something to the effect of buying an arcade machine and then for the privilege of pumping quarters into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it just doesn't it just doesn't work in the long run. I mean, no, why 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 are arcades failing all over the country? In both because they both outdo it. Exactly. Exactly. They've succeeded. They've only succeeded. The arcades only succeeded in Japan because the arcades are part of the culture there. Mm -hmm. Not for anything else. Yeah. I Xavier mean, are going to die out in six to 12 months, and this is just going to be another nail in the coffin for them. Exactly. Um, anyway, I'd like to thank you all for watching this little video. This was Mellow Online and Sanji Himura saying thank you for watching. If you would, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and ring that bell. And give this video a like and we will see you guys on the next one. See you guys.